Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another lovely math video. Uh, this is the first video I'm going to make a, you know, probably four or five videos on solving linear equations. Uh, it's, you know, sort of the beginning of uh, some more complicated algebra when you get into this stuff. So I thought it might help students if they had a few videos on it. So here it is. Um, one of the things I always tell my students is things, that, things you need to remember um, is that you have to keep equality when you're solving equations. So what that means is it's almost like uh, you have a balance or a you know, teeter-totter or a seesaw and you have two kids who are exactly the same weight on each side. So if you put another kid on, you gotta find a kid that matches that exact same weight. So you have to keep the balance. So in order to do that is we have to do the same thing to both sides. So that's what I tell my students. The same oh, same thing to both sides. So that's my first rule. Now that doesn't really help us a whole lot in terms of solving the equations, uh, but it is fundamental. Now the obviously the idea of, of solving equations is to get x by itself. So in order to do that, we have to undo a bunch of things that have already been done to it. So um, what I like to call, tell my students to use is inverse operations. So the inverse is sort of like the opposite. So if you're trying to undo a plus 2, you have to get rid of it by um, a subtract 2. So inverse operations. So if you have a times 2, then you have to get rid of it by divide by 2. So really that's what you need to know. So let's see it in a couple very uh, beginning examples. And then if you want some harder examples, as I get more videos done, you can check those out. I also have one done already on uh, linear equations with fractions. So this is a you know, typical one that your teacher might give you to start off with. Uh, and again, it's asking us to solve for x. So you have to think about um, what you want to do. And another thing I tell my students is you want to pick a side for your variables or your letters and then your numbers on the other side. So I'm thinking that I'm going to put my numbers on the right hand side and my variables on the left hand side in this case. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this 3 right here. So again, it's plus 3. So in order to undo that operation, I have to subtract 3. So i got to make sure that I do it to both sides, though. So let's see. 2x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 13 minus 3. And if you, if you do the same thing to both sides, it's really hard to make a mistake. So then these cancel because 3 minus 3 is 0, so those are gone. So I'm left with 2x is equal to 10. And then, of course, this is 2 times x, so I'm 1x by itself. So again, what I said before is that if you're multiplying, in order to undo multiplication, you have to divide. So let's divide this side by 2 and divide this side by 2. So I end up with these go away. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so it's x is equal to 5. And there you go. So again, if you want to just do a quick check, you can plug it back in here. So let's see, 2 times 5 plus 3. So that's 10 plus 3, and that's equal to 13. So yeah, so that works. So that's the right answer. So the one after this is very similar. What you might want to do now is, uh, now you see the problem, pause the video, try it on your own using the same steps, and then see if you can get it. So do that. All right, so uh, I'm going to solve it now. Hopefully you're coming back after you pause the video if you listen to me, but I'm sure some of you didn't. Um, so what we want to do, again, numbers on the uh, right-hand side, letters on the left-hand side. If that's the easiest thing. Again, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's do the, get rid of this plus 7 by subtracting 7. So 3x plus 7, subtract 7. Is equal to 37, subtract 7. So that's left with 3x, these go away, is equal to 30. Then I got 3 times x, so I want to make sure that I, in order to undo times, I divide by 3, cancel, cancel, and I'm left with x is equal to 10. And that's my answer. So Again, you can check it, 3 times 10 and plus 7, 37, so we're good to go. All right, guys, I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in class. Check out my other videos. Please subscribe.